Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Minor Notes. Once again, it's me, Mr. Q-U-E, and I'm so glad to be back because we have another cool song for you all. We're going to teach you how to add fractions with unlike denominators. I'm saying we because I have Miss Cole on this one again, and we also have a couple of students from Holland Crest Middle School. What up, y'all? Shout out to Ralph. Shout out to Vincent for the choreography. Now let's go ahead and get into this song, Adding Fractions. From the bottom smash. Take one half, try to add it to one third, but you can't. At different sizes, that's absurd, but you can change the bottoms with an LCM, an LCM. Now you just multiply two times three, you get six. Now you can rewrite these, cross multiply to get the numbers at the top. Then you can add, you get five six. So you wanna add with fractions? Well, you should know they're a part of a whole. Students, do you dare to combine fractions with unlike denominators? Can you find the LCM? Turn different in the common. Cause what you can, what you can. In the bottoms match. I'm Q U E. I make the bottoms match. This is what I do when I'm adding fractions. Let's say I have one six. Gotta add that to two fifths. Make the bottoms match when I do this. First thing I do is multiply. Take six times five. Thirty is my denominator. Cross multiply to find numerators. First five times one. Numerator is five. Then six times two. Numerator is twelve. Now I have 5 over 30, add it to 12 over 30, you get 17 over 30, hurry, you wanna know which way to go, all you do is follow through on Miss Co. now do one more, try out this example, 4 over 7 plus 2 over 5, you can do it on your own this time. Yo, yo, what's good everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the latest installment of Minor Notes, once again, it's me, Mr. Q-U-E, and Miss Co. And we're gonna show you all how to add fractions with unlike denominators. Now, Ms. Cole and I do this differently. So, Ms. Cole, can you show us your method first? Yes. I solve problems with unlike denominators by using cross multiplication. Okay. First, look at the denominators cube with denominators cubed. We have a six and we have a two. So, you wanna multiply six times two. Six times two is twelve. So, then you can rewrite the denominators as twelve. Okay. Next, you can cross multiply to find numerators. Okay. What is 2 times 2? 2 times 2 is 4. And what about 6 times 1? 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so can you add these fractions now? Yes, I can. I have denominators that are the same. Yes. So because you have denominators that are the same, you remember it by saying same, same, same. 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 Now, our answer is in 12s and add up the numerators. 4 plus 6 is 10. So my answer is 10 and 12. Okay, there's another way to do this. Take it away, Q. Okay, now we're going to look at the least common multiple, Miss Cole. First, let's check out the number 2. And can you give me a few multiples of 2? Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's stop right there, okay? And now let's check out the number 6. Just give me the first few multiples of 6. All right, 6, 12, 18. Let's stop right there. 6, 12, 12 and 18. Yeah. Now... I want to go ahead and find the least common multiple between these. Can you point it out for us? Okay, I think it's six. Yes, six is the least common multiple. Now, Ms. Co, we already have a six in this fraction. We need to figure out how to change this one to a six. So all I do is look at these list of multiples, and can you tell me which multiple is the number six in this list? Okay, one, two, three. It's the third multiple, right? So that tells me to multiply one half times three over three. This is going to help me get the least common multiple. So now, let's rewrite this fraction. First one is going to stay the same. Two, six. And now, can you tell us what this fraction is going to change? Okay, one times three is three in the numerator. Two times three is 